today's video is my bag of empties. Remember, click like, maybe there, <laughs> subscribe, and keep watching. Hi beauties, so today is another empties video. I have not been doing many empties videos and I did explain in my last one. But for some reason my bag's just, just really filled up with lots of empties. So I thought I might as well get this video done so I can get it all sort of dispersed and gone so I can start again. So anyway, let's just start with the rubbish. Well, it's all rubbish, isn't it? Um, the Everyday Value 80 cotton wool pads. Um, they're about 59 pence. I think they're brilliant. Perfect for what I need and for the price, I don't mind. Exactly. Uh, this is NYX Sculpt and Highlight Brow Pencil. And I'm gutted. I really am gutted. Look, I went right. I just cannot get that last little bit. On my eyebrows without it sort of scraping um brilliant product i will be buying again um conditioner i'm thinking i've got the shampoo in now i'll have a look in a minute uh alberto uh balsam balsam uh coconut and leech or leech i don't know for all the hair types this is the conditioner i get it from the pound shop smells gorgeous really does cleans my hair and everything and i love it and for a pound it's just perfect so will i be buying again already have um this i'm really sad about this is ted baker a uh, body spray i got this believe it or not i actually got this for christmas the one uh last year and it has lasted me a whole year and it's just gorgeous it is a subtle fruity smell and i really really like this so i'm actually devastated now that that's gone will i be buying again um i think i need to get rid of all my others first but maybe it will be there uh toothpaste is oral b pro expert sensitive and gentle whitening so that's that one will i buy again always do uh, Lush, always got Lush in my empties, I think what that one is, that's the um, Honeybee um, bath bomb, um, I love Lush, I don't know what I can say about Lush that just won't, <laughs> nothing ever changes for me, I absolutely love my Lush, um, so yeah I've I've got plenty of it and probably got that one in there as well. Um, another one that I absolutely love is my Marsh uh, Melt Oil, the Marshmallow. And that's all that's left of it. <laughs> it is gorgeous. Already bought again. Uh, this one's got, oh, this one's got the um, sticker on it. This is the Santasaurus Reusable Bubble Bar. Not a great smell in that one actually now. Um, I've used and used and used it between me and my daughter. Brilliant, worth the price. Um, it's just so easy to use, you know. Uh, the Christmas penguin, that has gone. I loved it. My daughter just kept pinching it off me. It was a brilliant one. And we are back down there soon so i can guarantee you i will be buying more of that for christmas uh peeping santa bath uh bubble bar again it smells lovely i was gonna say it smells lush well obviously it is lush isn't it anyway so i think that's it for my um lush so moving on i love dot 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 uh raspberry and blackberry uh refreshing body spritzer um i love this even though I'm not a blackberry, um, black currant, blackberry sort of, I, I just don't know what it is. I can't handle the smell of it. Um, but this is really nice. Um, it's strong. It's sweet. 
and I love it. And I bought this from Prime Primark for about one pound twenty nine, ages and ages and ages ago. Um, and then you can get them in the pound shop for a pound now as well. So brilliant. Will I be buying again? Uh, I am near enough out of my body spritzer, so Ted Baker uh, might need to come back in. Uh, candle. This is the Village Candle Cherry Vanilla Swirl. Um, somewhere down the line, I did a video on um, Village Candles because I think they're brilliant candles and well worth the money. Um, I've actually stopped buying them for a little while because I've tried every single one of them and I'm trying to sort of try others now as well. And uh, the little downfall to this one is I don't normally get a bit left at the bottom but it just would not burn right to the bottom which is a shame but they are only um i believe they're 7.99 or 8.99 something like that lasts for ages the throw is brilliant on them as well uh right this is a new revitalized complete renewal night cream this is an avon product um it's near enough gone um but I know it's out of date now, so I've had to get rid of that. I really enjoyed using these, but will I be buying again? No, because I have found things that I prefer now to that one. Um, Impulse Sweet Smile Pear and Jasmine. Love the little ones because you can just pop them in your bag and everything. Um, pear and jasmine i can smell the jasmine in it i don't know about the pear though and it's just a nice sort of smell when you know you just want to sort of spritz yourself up uh more cotton pads um now i bought these ones these are boots baby essentials cotton wool pads and i thought as much as they were more money than what i normally buy for the tesco value i thought i'd try these um they were on offer in boots and I thought oh baby soft let's try it and I absolutely hated them they are so thin and I wouldn't say they were even for a baby um they just didn't have that softness to them so I won't be buying that one again uh nails by classic I don't know where the thing is I might find it in a minute but this is um it was from the pound shop and I thought I'd give it a go uh, and it was a nail polish corrector pen. Um, I do use the um, peel off things as well. But just when you've got just tiny little nicks and things that you want to do. I thought you know I'd get a pen. Um, I, I didn't hold much hope for the pound shop. Uh, but I've got to say I have, I've got. I've still got a couple more. Um, I probably bought about four or five of these um, little beauties. Because they work. They're perfect. They're just what you need. Hard tip. So they can get right into the grooves. Um, this is My Beauty Diary Collagen Face Mask Intense Plump. No, it hasn't got a smell to that now. Um, very, very wet uh, when you took it out and everything. It, it just, oh, it was really driving me mad because it was dripping everywhere. But on the other side of it, it was so nice because once it was on the skin, you could almost feel that sort of like the plastic sort of where the mask is on it's not plastic is it but you know what i mean um it it was like it was sticking to the skin but in a really nice way um and when i took it off i just i felt my skin feel so nice um i definitely will be buying more of this one i do have others in the range that i wanted to try but not got round to yet and my skin is in such a terrible place at the moment that i think i really need to start testing these ones out uh, so yeah, so I will, you know, definitely be buying that again. Um, a new, a new, a Clinique, no, not Clinique, oh my goodness, I'm losing the plot. A new Clinical Infinite Lift. This is a duo eye cream. And I finally got to the end of it. Um, because I knew things were coming out of date, that I thought I'll stop with what I've been using for now and just quickly use them up. And again, gives me a refresher of how I felt on them. Um, I used to absolutely love, love, love this. This was one of my favourite eye creams. Um, it still is, but I have found better out there. I love the fact that there's a two to it. I love the fact that this bit here, it 
it goes on it's like a gel sort of jelly sort of formula but gel um, and you can put it round and it feels like it's almost lifting the eyebrows up and then you put the cream on um, it's the gel that I prefer out of it that is why it was one of my favourites but sadly I won't be buying again because I say I have found others and I do keep moving on to things when I find great things so uh, Nicole OPI drying drops these are fantastic and all you did was or do is you've got your little what's it you soak it up and then you drop it onto the nail and what I used to do was have my nails sort of like that so it would roll down it and it just dries them really quick it is about because it keeps changing doesn't it so it's no more than 10 pounds anyway um I do recommend this I do recommend it but I have found um, a spray that is a lot lot cheaper um, but I would like to try this uh, try this I would like to have that again if you know I got it in a, a gift or anything like that um, Anastasia uh, the dip brow this really annoyed me because look in that it dried up so quick now I never leave things out with lids off or anything I'm, I'm very particular on it um, and it's always tightly screwed on and everything and it dried out now I'm not gonna pay a lot of money to have something just die on me basically you know um, so that was a massive fail to me and I won't be buying that again no uh, something else that has run out now is I never know the name and if you go back on my videos I still don't know the name this is Sec Fight Fighty I don't know but it is a top coat and it is a fantastic top coat but unfortunately the downfall to this is look there's still a little bit left in it but it goes once you get sort of down there it starts to get really sort of gloopy and sticky um, and I couldn't handle it anymore um, I do love the stuff though it's just a shame that you get to the bottom will I be buying it again probably not and reason being is because of the price um, it is around eight pounds um, because of the price I'm wasting product here um, if it was like three pounds I, I, I wouldn't mind wasting that last little bit of the product so it's a shame and then I've got um, Oriflame glossy top coat and again there is a little bit left in it and yet again it is a gloopy formula once it gets near the bottom um, which is what I'm not liking so um, I won't be buying this again anyway because it was not one of my favourites and um, it didn't for a top coat um, I still expect a top cloak to glide on over the nail varnish and things. I mean, I expect a lot because it's my nails, you know. <laughs> but I didn't find, I felt it would leave the streak of, of top coat onto your nails and things. So I won't be buying that again anyway. Um, this is Maybelline Pure BB Mineral 8-in-1 Improving BB Base in Light with Micro Minerals. Um, I've got to say this is still full but I don't like it I really don't like it it is not for my skin now I like Maybelline as a brand and you know they do some great stuff but their BB cream was just awful on my skin uh, it just felt like it just stayed there and it didn't do anything and I, it also as well felt wet even after an hour it still felt like you could go like that like I've got stuff on now and I don't feel like I've got it on my skin feels soft uh, this no uh, so no I won't be buying that again right this is a new uh, age transforming concealer um, wrong way I did get it in the wrong colour um, I have used it a few times um, but it has run out but Considering it's like that, there actually is not a lot of product in it for the price they're asking. Uh, will I be buying it again? No, I won't. Oh, I've got glitter everywhere. So, 
I was really gutted about these being these these emptied. Um, last year I asked for as a Christmas present uh, miniature bottles of perfume because I've got a lot of big perfumes. I don't seem to get through them, so I asked for the miniature size ones, and two of them that are empty now are my uh, Gucci Guilty. Um, this is black, and I don't think there's a name for this one. This is Gucci Guilty. No, I don't think there's a name for that one, so that must be the original. And they are both really nice. I mean, they last a while. Um, it's just a pull-off lid with, and um, you know, you do this to it. Oh, see, I can still smell. Um, and I just pop it on my neck and I'm going out to work and things again just to freshen up. Um, this one is more of a floral scent, and it, but it is strong and it lasts all day, which is what I really like. Oh, I can't smell this one now. The smell has actually gone on that one. But that was more of a... It was a, a floral, but more of a, um, like, sandalwood and things smell. And again, they both brilliant, but sadly they've gone. Oh, I found another Lush. Another one of my melts. <laughs> right, this is um, Avon Change Artiste. Uh, or artist, or however you pronounce it. I'm just trying to be posh, which I know I'm not. Um, I got this, so you put it over the nail varnish and it changes it and everything else. What a load of cobs to wallop. Um, will I be buying again? No, I won't. I don't even want to talk about it. Uh, oh, this was the sample I got of snow fairy from the lush bloggers event and it's gone will it be buying again yes i will be when i get down there um this is opulent essence is um peel off uh, nail peel off um it does look like there's product still in it but it's not it is dead now though yeah i mean it's it's been used to the max um will i be using theirs at buying theirs again i will be buying theirs again because i do like their peel off uh, and it's a good affordable price i think it was something like four or five pounds uh rimmel uh match perfection um zero ten in ivory it is a concealer i'm losing the plot now because i've gone through how much stuff um a concealer with a little brush i didn't get on with this at first but then eventually i actually really like this um, it was a little bit dark for me, but I didn't mind because it lightened up when I used my um, Makeup Revolution. Um, normally on offer for around £4.99, but I do believe they're £5.99. Will I be buying again? Once my concealers start going down, this will be one I'll be buying again. Uh, if I grab them out in one go, I'm practically at the end now. Uh, mascaras. So... My Holy Grail, number seven, uh, Lash Impact, um, Intense Volume Control. I absolutely adore this. This is uh, by far beats everything for me. Um, £14 for the mascara, which we know there's a lot more cheaper on the high street, but well worth the price. Um, I always get more of this. I've got a small one at the moment of it, and I will be asking for that on my christmas list this is a big darling volume mascara um didn't like it i gave it a go i tried and tried to like it but i didn't like it it just didn't do anything and it it was so heavy that it my uh, eyelashes were drooping so like everything else i'm getting old <laughs> um makeup academy's uh mascara this is a blue um, as you can see, it's dried out now. Um, it was about two pounds. I didn't mind. It dried out within when sort of two months, really. But I didn't mind it, and it was quite nice to have when I was going out somewhere. Just have that blue tint on the top of my lashes. Uh, this is another one, Avon's Super Shock Max Mascara. Um, I do like this one. This is my third one this year, and again, it's dried out. The brush is brilliant because it is a little, little tiny 
um, wisps for the brush but the downfall to it is, sorry about that, uh, the downfall to it is, is it's quite large for little eyes but I do like it because it really does lengthen out my lashes. Oh. So will I be buying again? Yes I will be at some point. And then the last thing in this bag is, I've got a lot of scent this time, I've gone through a lot haven't I? Uh, more scents. So this is, oh no that's not a scent. And that's not a scent. <laughs> this, I'm losing the plot now aren't I? But this is a scent. And am I going to be able to see what it says? Catherine Maller. Maland Renault. If you could put that together and say the name, brilliant. Um, it was a sample perfume. I do love the ones when they send you the samples with the little sprays on them. It's nice. This is a really, really nice perfume. And it is between a musky floral smell and it's very delicate. It really is a delicate smell. So you know you've got it on just by that little sort of scent that's coming up on you, but it's not there in your face and other for other people, you know? Um and it is a beautiful perfume. Uh for full size though, it's around sixty pounds. So will I be buying it? No, I won't. If I can get the samples again, fantastic. I don't mind paying um for little spray ones like this because they're perfect for the bag as well. So you never know, they might start send, selling them like that. Uh these are the caviar um Aldi's caviar collection uh, the intense treatments um, stopped using them for a little while while I'm giving the other ones a go and a good sort of going over um, but I love these I think they're brilliant they really really I, I mean that I think that's what's missing on my skin at the moment so will I be buying them again well I've still got loads of it and yes I probably will that will probably be one that will be in my skincare collection so I have finished <laughs> what a load of rubbish now, that is ridiculous, isn't it? Still, that was my empties over the last, I think that was only about six weeks. Um, so, yeah, hope you enjoyed what rubbish I had in my bag. Remember, beauties, always do what makes you happy. Bye.